Okay, I think we are live. <coughs> Just make sure we have the right sound. <coughs> Hopefully we have the right video as well. Hold on. Let's get ready here, folks. Okay, let's get ready. I think we are ready. We, we have sound. That's our, always good. We have a videos and sound. Uh, internet connection here in Tucson is not that great, so. Anyway, if you are joining us for the first time, <coughs> welcome to live streaming. Uh, before we start, uh, we're going to do some little housekeeping, okay? Uh, uh, friend, uh, friends, uh, friends from Discord uh, remind you guys, we have, we have kind of a social event uh, pretty much every evening. Uh, I'm not doing it, but I know quite a few guys does it every single night. Uh, if you are Discord, uh, if you are Discord friends, okay. If you are, if you, are, if you are, uh, if you have our Discord account, uh, around f uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time or 5 p.m. Pacific, a uh, few friends there they play poker. Okay, it's poker night. The part of Discord, uh, uh, the Discord comes with it's called poker night. Okay, and that's I mean they're pretty cool. So if you guys want to come uh, play with us, hang out with us. Uh, that we usually shows up <clears throat> around 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern or 5 p.m. Pacific, okay? And then you're going to see our friend Ryan's going to be there, Jordan and Brent from Good Brothers Coffee. And who else? Uh, Java Jake's going to show up usually. It's kind of a social event. It, uh, it is a lot of fun, okay? The, the, the poker, the game, actually they have a season, okay? So make sure to check it out okay if you guys are not doing anything on those times just pop in and just say hello and just play play with them okay just play with them as well <clears throat> okay meantime uh today's topic is hang grinder so piatro hang grinder is i think it that's the most expensive hang grinder i know okay personally personally i have used over the uh i mean over the years i mean this grinder you are looking at is four hundred and seventy-five dollars, four seventy-five. And then I do want to compare that with, okay? I do want to compare that with <clears throat> the blade grinder. Okay. Uh, you can get from any what? You can get from anywhere, right? Uh, ten bucks, fifteen bucks at the most. Okay, ten or fifteen bucks for the blade grinder. So you know what? I mean, I always want to make this video for a long time. I, th I feel like I've done it once or twice before, but not with a hand grinder comparison. So let's do that this afternoon. Okay, I'm very curious. Uh, I'm going to be using 14 gram dose. It's all ready to go. Okay, and then I'm going to be using uh, identical brewing method, uh, April dripper, or uh, April drip dripper as well. And let's see. Okay, let's find out. Can I tell the difference? So. Uh, sake of fairness, I'm, I think I'm going to go with the coarser setting uh, on the Piatra, okay? I'm going to go the coarser setting, okay? And then because at this point, the grinder size for blade grinder is going to be very tricky, okay? Very tricky there, so. I mean, we are talking about extreme comparison. I mean, this is extreme as you get. Piatra is uh, known for the clarity and they're great hand grinder comes to cup quality some of the best one out there in the market this is the 14 grab going in uh, if you're joining us for the first time let me know I'm gonna shout out to my buddy Florian for the super sticker all right <clears throat> After this, uh, we're gonna grind some coffee with a blade grinder as well. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is done. Smells great. Very evenly grinds. So now is a blade grinder. Okay. Now we're gonna play with the blade grinder here. Again, you have no control, right? The blade has no control where the grind size. So, <clears throat> we'll see. 
I'm gonna go 14 gram going in. Sometimes you should shake it. Just make sure you get all the big ones out. Okay. That's good enough. All right, so let's brew some coffee with it. All right. Let's brew some coffee with it. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, let's do like 1 to 15 ratio. Okay. Okay, if you're joining us for the first time, we are comparing hand grinder versus blade grinder. Okay, so this particular hand grinder is from Piatra. Okay, so this is a, one of the best hand grinders out there, uh, our current market. It should be a very interesting comparison. I cannot wait to taste. I'm just gonna tear everything up. So about two, I'm gonna add about 210 grams of coffee, 210. You know what, let's flip the camera for a second. <clears throat> let's flip the camera. So this is a uh, Piatra. I mean, you can use it to tell from the grunt quality. And then, so this is the blade grinder is coming right now. Thirteen point seven. It's, it's, it should be fine. Yeah. Close enough. Point three gram is not going to make any difference in taste there. Uh, I'm going to be <coughs> comes to brewing method. I'm going to go as simple as possible. Okay. I'm going to start with the fifty grams of water to start with. And I'm going to bloom about, about 45 seconds to minutes. And then see what happens. All right, here we go. I'm going to start with the 50 gram. I'm going to store it. I'm going to wait about about 50, 45 to, yeah, 45 to minutes, okay. <clears throat> Let's start with that as well. So this is the blade grinder. Okay. Just gonna give it a, give it a good, good stir. I'm at 45 right now. <clears throat> uh, with 50 seconds, I'm just gonna go gentle all the way up to 208. There we go. With the blade grinder, I'm gonna again. 45, about now, okay. Clean up the sides. There we go, that's fine. So still going <clears throat> as well. It's about a minute and 50 seconds right now. So 
So with uh, Piatra is about two minute brew time, okay? Two minute brew time there. Actually, that's not bad, okay? I mean, I do enjoy fast brew time, so. About the same, okay, with the blade grinder. <coughs> About the same as well, very close. Actually, I'm pleasantly surprised, guys. Very, uh, very close to it, okay, very close to it. Yeah, it should be good. I cannot wait to try this cup. Okay, so this is the blade grinder here. So this is a Piatra. Okay. It'd be fun to do blind tasting though. It'd be really fun to do blind tasting for these cups. All right, here we go. <coughs> Shout out to Mr. Rainbow for the Super sticker. All right. <coughs> Let's give it a try. Okay. Let's give it a try. Yeah, what do you guys think? Okay. Before I taste, can I tell the difference? Uh, I obviously w I will. Okay, I'm gonna tell the difference for sure. The real question is how much right how much i'm gonna tell the difference the blade grinder is about 10 or 15 bucks uh you know if you go to target or walmart it doesn't matter you can get one for like 10 or 15 bucks for the you know blade grinder so that's what we get here okay 10 or 15 bucks so that is a piatro okay that's some of the best <coughs> hand grinder in the current market right now it comes to hand grinder 58 millimeter flat burr grinder okay i'm gonna start with piatra cheers everybody i hope you guys are having a great friday afternoon i know some of you are early saturday morning as well so clean cup smooth yeah i mean this is great cup of coffee awesome okay <clears throat> all right hand grinder Okay, so let, let's. Uh, so this is the not the hand grinder. This is the blade grinder. Okay, here we go, blade grinder. Hold on. Okay, has a sharp edge to it. Sharp edge. <clears throat> it's not as smooth as the Piatra. Let's go back to Piatra. Smooth, round. Okay, I mean, so here's here's the thing. <coughs> Four seventy-five. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Goodness, I need a cough here. Okay, so Piatra is four seventy-five. Okay, with the tax on it, you are looking at five hundred dollars. So let's try one more time. Smooth, sweet, very balanced cup of coffee. Blade, uh, blade grinder, in the other hand. <clears throat> Let's try one more time here. Has a you know, little bit of taste to it. I mean, you can still drink it. <clears throat> Definitely drinkable. It's not horrible. Okay. It's not horrible. But... It's not the best, but is that worth? Is that Piatra is worth four seventy five versus uh, fifteen dollar, fifteen or twenty dollars a hand grinder? <clears throat> oh goodness, my answer is we are talking about comes to value, right? Okay, we are comes to value. If you have five hundred dollars to spend, if you have five hundred dollars spend, if you're gonna go with black grinder and the rest of money buy something else. Okay, buy something nice for yourself. Or you're gonna spend all five hundred dollars on just a hand grinder for your cup of coffee. I cannot answer that, but I bet you you can. Okay. So here's a question for you guys. You have five hundred dollars to spend on grinder. Alright. 
you're gonna spend money on nice hand grinder or it doesn't matter okay I mean you could buy uh, DF64V for fi uh, 500 bucks not the V but Gen 2 for 400 dollars okay you can spend grinder for 500 bucks or you rather spend 10 or 15 bucks on blade grinder the rest of money uh, buy something for yourself okay? the answer is I mean depend on who you ask okay 99% of people out there, they're going to take the money and run. Okay, they want the money and get a, get a black grinder. And uh, that one person like you guys are watching, okay? I know you guys are the one percenter, all right? Because you guys value the, your cup of coffee every single morning, okay? I know you guys are value the coffee in the morning. So most likely, you're going to spend $500 on grinder. So all depend on, you know, what you guys want okay <clears throat> it's all depend on what you guys want you know who and who are you asking i mean obviously definitely have you know different cup taste for sure okay i'm gonna try one more time here because it's been cooled down for a little a little bit so you can tell a lot about coffee okay after coffee is cooled down to show you the the true okay the true side of the 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 taste uh, bitter has a lot of edge to it sharp it's not smooth uh, obviously it's not uniform grind um, you can definitely tell that but it's not horrible okay so this is the piatra smooth round sweet where it balanced and then not only that I mean I set a course of setting okay you can actually start adjust the grinder setting you can bring out the best in that cup of coffee so again uh, if I mean if you're a coffee hobbyist you are going to tell the difference between blade grinder versus a nice hand grinder or it doesn't really matter right I mean at that price point the whatever grinder you're gonna get the five hundred dollar range, you're gonna get a high quality cup of coffee. I mean, that's you guys. Okay, that you guys are watching my videos right now. The one percent, uh, ninety nine percent of people out there, I don't think, I don't think they really cares. I don't think. Okay, I mean, they just want to make cup of coffee and just get out the door. Because once you start drinking bitter coffee, like really dark roast coffee, like Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts, or it doesn't really matter. Okay, and uh, the Blake grinder coffee is they're gonna put some little bit of half and half a little bit of creamer you know if not those guys get uh, one of those flavor creamer at the grocery store splash some of those and they're off to work so i mean for those people black grinder is just fine <clears throat> but it comes to coffee hobbyists like yourself i mean i know you guys you know you guys can't tell the difference so what's the point of this video okay i mean we've been talking about for the last 20 minutes what is the point the point is there's no point guys that that's what we do here in this channel okay because i i thought about it because i was going to make this uh, video for a long time because especially i got this nice hand grinder that's almost 500 dollars. okay and some of you have this uh blade grinder at home i guarantee uh, i bet you some of you have that in your uh kitchen cabinet somewhere okay I bet you guys have this All right it's 15 20 bucks that's it okay so when I start this uh, this uh, coffee uh, channel spending even $200 on grinder was uh, outrageous because we are talking about $15 grinder here 15 20 bucks you're spending you know even $200 wow that's crazy but now, spending 500 bucks, that's nothing on grinders. Okay? It's nothing. All right? So, it all depends. Okay? All depends on what you guys are looking for. So, anyway, uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. Uh, if you guys just missed the earlier announcement, uh, the guys at the Discord, okay? Shout out to Ryan. Jordan and 
Brett, uh, they play poker every night. Uh, so we have a part of the Discord. They have uh, the poker app there. For you know, comes with it. They play uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time and 5 p.m. Pacific. Okay, so it's almost uh, it's almost four o'clock right now. It's pretty much an hour from now. Uh, if you guys are our Discord member, just pop in. Uh, guys should be there. Okay, guys should be there as well. Uh, uh, so what I'm gonna do, uh, Ben, I'm, I'm gonna put the link. Okay, I'm gonna link. I'm gonna my Discord link on my comment section here. I'm gonna pin it. Okay, so you can go there. All right. Uh, we have a uh, Cosmin. So, what is the best grinder for espresso in your opinion? Uh, I got that question all the time. Okay, what is the best grinder for this and that? Okay. So, pretty much, uh, how much money you guys want to spend, right? It's all, all, all about your budget. I know we have a Cancer ask which best home coffee machines. I mean, that's how I can answer you guys. The best coffee machine for your home, uh, Bravo Brista Express or Pro. Okay, that is my favorite machine out there. That's pretty solid. That used to be affordable. I mean, surprisingly, <clears throat> you figure price should go down. Actually, the Bravo Vista Express and Pro went up. Okay, went up due to inflation. All right, due to inflation. So yeah, that used to be around five hundred dollar range. Now it's like seven fifty. Bravo Vista Pro is by eight fifty. Okay. So at that point, goodness, you know, I mean, it's no longer entry level machines anymore. Okay, yeah, I mean, that is no longer entry level. So again, and uh, speaking of Barber Brista Express, <coughs> I just got a hold on. I just got a. It's called Big Bang. Okay, it's got IMS basket. IMS made this. High extraction basket for Bravo, 54 millimeter. <clears throat> it's called Big Bang. I don't know how, how they come up with this name, but I guess uh, I'm gonna be testing it tomorrow morning. Okay, let's do that tomorrow morning. <clears throat> uh, it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun there. All right, so let's what we got here. We have a BO say Pico Press versus 58 versus Bianca. Uh, 58 versus Bianca, we've done it many times. Pico Presso versus Flair. Again, I mean, there's no comparison, okay? The Pico Presso is <clears throat> not even come, and the comp, it's not even come close to Flair 58, let's put it that way, or Bianca, all right? Because P Pico Presso is just a hand handle espresso machine. You cannot manage the heat either. Maybe Dark Roast, okay? Dark Roast have some fighting chance there, but yeah, I mean, but other than that, I mean, if you if you really want to make coffee, you know, outside of your house, <clears throat> and get the pour over, guys. Get a you know hand grinder with maybe some you know V60 or whatever, nice dripper. Just 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 take it to hotel, okay? I mean, having an espresso at hotel room that's too much work, okay? But if you are driving, okay, if you are driving, all right, get the 58. Uh, take that to your uh, hotel. Okay, you're gonna have a better result. Okay, better results. All right, hold on a second here. We have a coffee cup. Say, Blake is doable. Yes, you know, again, uh, shake up and down. That's what we did. But the problem with uh, hang uh, blade grinder, you cannot get the consistent grind size. All right, you cannot get the consistent grind size. All right, I think what else? I'm gonna shout out to Florian and Mr. Rainbow for the super sticker. Uh, how about DK ask? How about the battle of levelers? Uh, I think we've done that before as well. We've done it uh, so many times. Okay. Uh, I, yeah. But you know what? Let's do it again. Okay. Yeah, let's do it again. Let's do it again. I th I th are we good now? It's about 23 minutes into it. Uh, uh, don't don't forget the poker game. I think poker game is. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna play again tonight. Okay, especially Friday night. Yeah, I bet you they got nothing else to do so far. So yeah, uh, make sure join the poker game uh, just for fun. Okay, it's for the uh, Discord. So I'm gonna put the Discord link right after this. Okay. 
All right, the BO say, the pick up press of things whenever you are free. <coughs> yeah, we, are, we do have pick up press, so yeah, so uh, let's play with that. Uh, coming weeks, okay, uh, coming weeks there, so. What else? Uh, I think, is anybody seen Brian Kwan's video this morning? Yeah, Brian was uh, ranting about current state of uh, grinder market. He, he said he was a little disappointed. But I think th this is great for someone looking for grinders right now, okay? Uh, if, you are, if you are looking to buy grinder, I mean, this is the time, okay? This is the time. It's great for the buyers, all right? There's so many great grinders out there, very competitive price. This is it. Oh, yeah. If you have some money, yeah, you're going to have some great time, you know, researching it, you know, finding out, you know, what's the best grinder uh, for the buck, okay? Was grind a bank for the back. All right, so this is a great time. <clears throat> Elia say option overload for grinder. Grinders though. Yeah. You think so? I mean, think about it. I mean, your option is a 64 millimeter, right? I mean, I think that's the what people are overthink about 64 millimeter. Okay, you have a lot of options. But in the end, Okay, in the end, you need, to, you need to know your budget, okay? You know what, uh, maybe we should have a separate segment for this. Okay, how to buy grinder in 2023. Yeah, I think that should be a fun topic there. Flaming Zombie, thoughts on a uh, fellow Opus. They're a fine grinder, a great entry level. <clears throat> uh, you can go for 169 I saw at Amazon the other day, 169 he does a decent job with the filter coffee and espresso. Yeah. They're fine. Uh, so this is a great market. A uh, great time for... Yeah, this is an awesome time for uh, grinders. I mean, if you are looking for buying a new one. I mean, this is great. Uh, especially DF from Torin. Goodness. I mean, you can get, what, 330 now? 330 bucks for DF64 Gen 1. Gen 2 is what, uh, about $4.99, well, $3.99, right? Just under 400 bucks there. Yeah, I mean, this is great, okay? Great time. Uh, especially Gen 2 has a plasma generator, so uh, reduce the static as well. Yeah. Elliot asked me, Zono versus Lagon, the P64. You know what, I go with the P64 all day, okay? I mean, that's, I mean, Lagon has a uh, history track records all right yeah i mean goodness i mean so if you have the money go with uh p64 zono that's a brand new company there's no history behind it so i mean uh, that's a lot of investment though zono is what pushing 1500 dollars, guys lagoon is pushing two grand uh 1700 bucks so if you're gonna spend extra couple hundred dollars more i think i go with Justin said, I'm getting Torrent Gen 2, made the decision. Uh, I mean, can't go wrong with it for the price. Yeah. Okay, hold on a second here. Sean, shout out to Sean from Australia. Shopping for 64 millimeter grinder is like shopping for big uh, LCD screen. Exhausting and confusing. Okay. Okay, because the, the problem to Shine is Shine has so much money, okay? He has so much money, so he doesn't know what to decide. If you have a budget, if you have, a, let's say, $500 to spend, your uh, options are a lot smaller, okay? But if you have $2,000 to spend, guess what? Uh, you got to spend a lot of time with it, okay? So ma make sure you get the budget, okay? Get, make sure you get your budget down, all right? Okay, Ben say talking about the old. <clears throat> we have a Cosmin say, with these grinder prices, I think I go uh, go with the low, and get my hammer and crush the beans. There we go. That's not a bad idea either. Okay, get the black grinder. All right, get the black grinder for ten bucks. All right. Okay, Elias say yeah, budget is where it gets complicated. All depends, right? It's all, all depend on what kind of situation you have, okay? 
if you have your loved ones out there, your significant another, say, hey, you know, so convince them, okay, convince them, all right, because you say you need it, okay, you need it for your mental health, all right, you, you need to have a good grinder for your mental health. Spending $500 on a hobby is nothing, guys, okay. All right, I think uh, we've been just hanging out for the last 30 minutes here. <clears throat> Mrs. Collins, a copy coming up. Uh, I think Mrs. Collins from Australia, so it's about morning time over there right now. Yeah, morning time. Okay, hold on a second. Ace said, this morning I ground 18 grams of okay, meat, okay, meat to light roast by hand. Yes. Yeah, get the electric one, okay, Ace, someday. All right. Definitely worth it. Okay, let's see here. I think Mohammed is also joining us as well. Mo, Mo, uh, what do you think about the, what is the Mo, Mohammed is talking about here? MC2? Uh, I, I don't know what that is, buddy. I don't know what that is. You know, let me know what that is. BOSA 83 millimeter conical. Okay. Elias said Faro versus Piatra. Who makes Faro? Is that? I heard that before. Yeah, Faro. Yeah. Eris. Be a uh, Eris grinder. I think an Eris grinder from tai uh, Taiwan. Okay. I'm trying to get one for a while. All right. I think, uh, let's see here. Who did a review on that recently? I know Kyle did a review on it. And the Brian did a review as well. They only have a handful of prototype. Okay, they only have a handful of prototypes. So, I mean, getting a hands on on those demos are very difficult. Okay, yeah, very difficult. Oh, uh, yeah, that's Orphan. Okay, Orphan Espresso. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Orphan is a legit hand grinder, but <clears throat> the Piatra is made for pretty much uh, filter coffee comes to espresso, I mean, I don't bother, okay? Uh, hand grinder on espresso is, uh, I'm, I'm, that's something I'm not interested in, okay? So do you, so should you. Don't waste time on hand grinders on your espresso. Too much work, guys, okay? I mean, you know, just have fun with the filter coffee, goodness. Way too much work, okay? Way too much work for, well, just a little result, just get a 40 and 50 grams out of it, yeah. If you want to enjoy more, yeah, I, I think uh, if you have a hand grinder, just stick with the filter. I mean, that's what I recommendation. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, Elia say arm exercise, and eh, not really. A say I try to attach the drill on my hand grinder. Yeah, that's true. Yep, that's true. But drastically change the grind distribution. Yes, that is correct. Cancer say which home coffee, which best home coffee machine? Uh, Brista Express or Pro? Okay, get that one. All right. I mean, if you want to go cheaper than that, uh, just save money. Okay, save money because don't waste time on you know a couple hundred dollar espresso machine there. Yeah. Elliot asking about the, what do you think about the Eureka grinders? They are fantastic. If you only care about medium to dark roast, okay. Yeah, so I mean, if you only care about medium to dark roast, uh, I mean, the Eureka is just tank, okay. You cannot break Eureka, all right. You're gonna have it for a lifetime. But it seems like they haven't worked on their birds yet. Okay, so I mean all the newer grinders, that's more toward to specialty coffee, right? More like light to medium roast. And it has a lot of, you know, tasting notes are a lot more complex, very light, fruity, sweet. Yeah. But if you are into kind of like classic style, Italian, classic, dark chocolate, smooth, I mean Eureka, you know, they're fantastic. They're great. Okay. All right, I, I think, okay. All right. Okay, Sunbeam. Yep, Sunbeam, yep. Uh, we don't have a Sunbeam here, though. 
But but I know what you're talking about though. I know what you're talking about. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, it's been fun for the last 30 minutes. Again, if you are joining us for the first time, this is what we do every day. Just hang out, make some coffee, you know, chit chat, chit chat for a little bit. That's it. Okay. Not, not much going on here. Hold on. Uh, Ace, do you recommend the Turan SD40? Man, SD40 is uh, one of those uh, great cheap grinder. Okay, from Turan Salad. I think it's not that expensive anymore. Okay, I think you can get one for like around hundred bucks nowadays. Yeah. So I mean that. I mean that. I mean that is a good grinder to start with. Okay, SD40. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, Elias say I wait for the O78S. That's the timer grinder. I don't know when they're gonna release it though. I know people are waiting still. So let's find out. Okay. Hopefully you guys are going to get it before the uh, before this year is over. All right. Yeah, before this year is over. Okay, folks. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday afternoon or early Saturday morning uh, if you are friends from down under. Uh, don't forget the poker game, uh, 8 Eastern and 5 Pacific time, okay? We got some friends are waiting for you at the poker room at Discord, okay? Make sure to check it out if you got nothing else to do this fine Friday night, okay? If you got nothing else to do Friday night, hang out with our, our boys over there, okay? All right, guys. See you next time.